Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning 10 essential tips for working in Adobe XD. So let's get started. You can duplicate both items and artboards by pressing Command or Control D or by going up to Edit and down to the Duplicate option. If you have two or more objects grouped together in Adobe XD, you don't need to go up to Object and Ungroup if you'd like to edit one of them. Simply hold down Command or Control, left click on the object, and you can adjust the properties for that object individually, and it still keeps everything grouped together. You can use the Pathfinder tool to select multiple shapes and you can combine them together or you can subtract one shape from another or lots of other effects. However, Adobe XD also remembers what you've done and it highlights the option selected here. So by simply clicking that again, it will undo that and separate the shapes and back out. So it's a much less destructive way of working and if you do make a mistake, it allows you to get your original shapes back. If you've added an image into Adobe XD and you've applied a mask, what you can do is you can double click on that object and it will show you the whole image and you can move that around, make some adjustments to the crop. You've got the guide here that still shows you your mask and then simply just click anywhere outside of your object and it will update with that latest crop. In addition to using the mouse, you can also use the left, right and up, down arrow keys to move objects one pixel at a time in Adobe XD. However, you can also hold down shift and use the arrow keys and it will move the object 10 pixels in any direction. If you're working with text in Adobe XD, you can select the drop down here from the text panel and you can pick a different font. However, something else you can do is just click in this space here and then use the up and down arrow keys to quickly and easily scroll through lots of different fonts rapidly without the need to manually select one from the drop down every time you'd like to see the next font. If you have an object in Adobe XD and you'd like to add a floating shadow effect, simply click the ellipse tool left click and drag under your shape to create a shallow ellipse, deselect the border and from the fill color picker select gradient and click anywhere on the gradient slider in the middle and drag this down to the bottom left to select black and the left and right swatches drag those to the top left corner to select white. So you should have a gradient that goes from white to black to white. And if you click in the color picker again with the main selection tool, just drag each end out to the right and to the left edges like so. And then select background blur on the little drop down here, change that to object blur. And you can adjust the amount of blur for your shadow effect. And you can also with this selected adjust the appearance opacity as well. So you can make it a lot fainter or you can make it a lot stronger. A cheeky way to flip objects horizontally and vertically is to go to edit, duplicate, drag this out to the right and then make a note of the width value here in pixels. Drag over this, right click and select copy and then manually drag your shape from left to right and you'll see that it adjusts this value as you make that change and then simply right click and paste this value in and hit return. And it will adjust that onto the opposite side that you've just reflected your shape to. If you'd like to create a triangle in Adobe XD, simply select the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to draw a square, pick a color, double click and select any of the four points and then just press delete or backspace to remove and you will be left with a triangle. In Adobe XD you can of course select the zoom tool and left click to zoom in. But did you know you can also hold down the alt key and it will change to a minus and when you left click it will zoom out. And there we go that's 10 essential tips for working in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.